The fire department's annual permitting of hydrogen stations is an opportunity not only to ensure station safety, but also as a learning experience for staff. Departments with CNG, LNG, or widespread industrial gas experience would be most confident in this regard. However, with determination and a commitment to mastering the challenge of hydrogen automotive fuel, its benefits can be made safely available to our communities. The renewal of the operational permit for a vehicle fueling station involves an inspection of the premises. The inspection is not as comprehensive as the commissioning of a new station. However, this site visit must confirm that critical components are functioning or have been maintained in accordance with requirements. The fire service is the primary regulator over the station's ongoing operations. Building departments would be involved only if there is new construction or severe deficiency of existing systems or station construction features. Fueling stations share common safety features, such as fire extinguishers, emergency stop switches, warning placards, and dispenser protection. Hydrogen stations have much in common with CNG, LNG fueling facilities. This is to be expected as both dispense fuel at a very high pressure or at a very low temperature. Hydrogen's unique characteristics as a non-odorized gas having a modest ignited visual signature require, in some respects, a distinctive safety approach. The same and most specific standard that contains the design and installation requirements of hydrogen stations, NFPA 2 2011, Hydrogen Technologies Code, also has provisions for the maintenance and inspection of critical station components. Some may be dedicated safety equipment, such as flame detectors and emergency stops. Others may be functional components, such as nozzles, hoses, pressure relief devices, vents, and monitoring panels. The very high pressure and very low cryogenic temperature of gaseous and liquid hydrogen requires the annual permit renewal process to confirm compliance with NFPA 2's inspection and maintenance provisions. The inspection process involves a combination of verifying maintenance records and the actual examination of station components. Gaseous pressure vessels and cryogenic liquid hydrogen tanks must be examined for storage integrity. Pressure and temperature gauges are the primary indicators of tank and content condition. If another agency has specific jurisdiction over tank maintenance, the station's records must include such documentation. Pressure relief valves should be examined and the required tagging reviewed. Confirmation of off-site monitoring is vital to ensure that station operational issues and alarm conditions shall be promptly responded to. Equipment, such as compressors or electrolyzers, should be visually inspected for abnormal operation. Again, station records should verify the maintenance of such equipment by specialized personnel. Witnessing an actual vehicle refueling should be part of the inspection process. If new construction of a substantial height is in close station proximity, the inspector should review the original plan submittal regarding clearance distance requirements. These stations are the most complex public fuel facilities with respect to the equipment and the extreme physical states of the fuel. However, after considering state-of-the-art manufacturing and quality assurance, sophisticated monitoring and controls, multiple independent safeguards, and proper maintenance, there is no reason to believe that these stations cannot be operated safely and used by the general public. The fire service must become preeminent in the enforcement of hydrogen station regulations if a safe, efficient, and economical transition to hydrogen fuel is to succeed. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your service.